Hi guys, my name is Andrew from Anzac, and I'm going to be showing you how to install a hard drive on your desktop computer. Alright, so the reason I'm doing this is because I just want to show people how easy it is and show you guys how it's done. And uh, I have to do it myself because one of my hard drives is uh, getting old and the sectors on it are starting to fade, so I need to replace it before I have a crash. Anyway, so... Um, no, so the first thing is, I went down to the hardware store, I picked up, a, no, not the hardware, but the computer place. <laughs> yeah, they don't sell hard drives at the hardware store. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I went down to the computer store, I picked this baby up, it's a Seagate, it's one gigabyte, or sorry, one terabyte, one gigabyte would be a pretty small hard drive. So one terabyte, so that means it's 1,000 gigabytes of space, which is a fair bit, actually. Uh, basically... What we're going to do is install this baby. Now there's a couple different kinds you can get. The one that this is, this is a SATA, um, a SATA cable basic, or SATA hard drive. So here's the bottom of it here. And as you can see right here and here, those two ports. This one is the SATA port. This is for the data and this is the SATA port for the power. So you'll put this, the, uh, the data in here and the power in here when you connect it in. And it's really that simple. So, next up thing that I'm going to show you guys is my computer and I'll show you how we can get in it. Okay, let's go. Alright, so here's my hard drive that I'm going to put in it and here's my tower. It is an HP computer that I bought about last year. It's got a quad-core processor uh, with six gigabytes of DDR, uh, I think two, possibly three, I'm pretty sure it's DDR2 though, DDR2 RAM. It's already got two hard drives in there, one of them I already put in before, but it's uh, giving me some problems. It was an older one though. Um, I also upgraded the graphics card a while ago, so it's got a 9800 GTX uh, NVIDIA graphics card, so it's a one gigabyte DDR3 graphics card. So this baby runs quite well. Anyway, let's open it up. So the first thing we gotta do is we have to go to the back here. Now, at the back, there's lots of little doohickeys, but we need to basically slide this cover off. Usually most covers come off to the right on most desktop computers. So in this computer, there's a little thing that I twist here. So once I twist this, boom, see now it's coming off. Now this handle here, I pull this, and I basically just yank the cover off. Slide it over, boom. So I put it over there, here's my computer. So a uh, quick little thing for you guys, uh, this over here, this big huge board underneath, the yellow thing, that's the motherboard. Over here we've got the RAM. This is the graphics card right here. It's a nice beefy one. Although it's not as beefy, it's not like the most intense graphic card ever. And then we've got sound card here. Then we've got, uh, I've got a DVD, ROM, disc player here and burner. And then here I have a Blu-ray disc drive, uh, burner and reader. So it can actually burn Blu-rays. This is my power source. So this is where basically the computer plugs into here and then it supplies power throughout the computer. So this is the original hard drive that came with it. It's a Seagate as well. Um, it was a 750 gigabyte. Now I added a th another hard drive up here and then I added the plugs in here and it was actually a pain in the butt to get it all the way down here. You can see, I can't even really see it with my own naked eye, but down at the bottom there's these uh, things called SATA ports and they sit on your motherboard and basically you want to connect the SATA port to the motherboard first, then you want to slide the hard drive in, then we're going to connect the SATA data cable and then the power cable into it and then it's basically good to go. But the way this one is, is I have it sitting in this uh, little enclosure here, which is actually blocked by the front case. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is take that off. All right, so I'm gonna need both my hands for that, so I'm not gonna be able to, I'm just gonna cut off right now and take it off and then we'll go from there. Okay, let's do that. All right, so I've got the front face here off. The front cover is off, so I've got my hard drive right down here. So what I need to do now is slide this thing out that way, but the first thing I need to do is unplug the cables that are connected to it. So I pop 
the power cable off first, and then the data cable comes off. Boom, it's out. Now I slide this puppy out. Boom. Here we go, that was the old hard drive. So this was a 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive, which I put in there just for the kit, for kicks, and it was already, um, it was already kind of broken to begin with, but I used it for a while, and now it's no good. So, I'm basically just going to keep this and put it uh, in probably my drawer and just leave it there, since I don't want to just throw it out. And I can, it still works, sort of, but it's at the, on the verge of breaking, so I'm just going to keep it as a backup in case I ever need it. So let's talk t uh, forget about this one for now. Now, the new one right here, the Seagate, so this one comes in, now I've got to line it up. Now this one, will, it'll be different for a lot of different computers, with some you're going to have to uh, do, um, you're going to have to install it with a screwdriver, in other ones you will have to, it'll just snap in. This one just kind of sits there, it's really snug and it doesn't move around. So it's basically good the way it is. All right, so now I just connect my two cables. Boom, and we're good to go. Okay. All right, so one, I got the front fascia back on. Now what I do is I basically just uh, have everything connected. So it's in there. It's very simple, so simple. When you start up the computer, what's going to happen is the BIOS is going to recognize the hard drive right away and, and get it all ready to go. And then what you have to do is you have to format the drive. And I think I'll show that in another video after this and probably put it on. But So that's the basic hardware installation. So now you take this baby, slide it back over. It's gone. Now screw it on. Whoops, hold on a second. I missed the hook. There we go, it's on. Sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling around with that. Then screw this back, boom. Baby's good to go. So that's it, that's how you install a hard drive. Pretty easy, eh? At least that's the hardware installation. Next, let's do the, uh, the software installation. See you guys.